I had a dream the other day. I was in hell. And guess what? I had enough malice that I got to become a little demon. And every single person who had a chain of debt to me, I got to drag down to hell. So all those who owed me a little favor or quite a bit of change, they don't get to go to heaven and a forsaken soul like me who doesn't accept Christ as my Lord and Savior got to punch them. I got to drag them by their little hair and wings and wrap chains around their throats and yank them down and watch them fall. Now, I had a choice. Do I let them hit the water? Do I let them hit the flames? Or do I let them hit the bedrock? And they all had a different sound. And the fun part was, as a demon, I got to toy with their hope. You see, I gave them a little hot air balloon. And if they absolved more and more sin, maybe they'd be light enough to fly up again. And then I could pop their balloons. Because forgiveness was not about how they atoned for their sin. It was how much they atoned for the malice they accumulated. Because when you owe somebody debt, they curse you for it. Every single opportunity lost, I curse your soul. I hate you. I resent you. I have no idea why I let myself be talked into helping you out. So, down I drag you down to hell. I batter you. We break a leg. We slowly peel off the tendons, the nails. We slow roast you, freeze dry you. Pour molten lava, metal, candle wax. Yeah, slowly exfoliate every single bit of hair. Yeah, all that and more. Now, the fun part was you could control the regeneration in hell and how much they heal. So, uh, you could leave them bloody and soaked and humiliated. Or you could let it be like uh, the old Greek gods and let them regenerate and then suffer anew all over again. So, what do I do? Let's see. Um, we had the broken shoulder, broken elbow, sprained muscles, you know, minor aches and pain. Then we turn you into a hungry ghost, so we give you a big bloated belly hungry for food. But, uh, um, it's like a gastric bypass surgery, or, uh, we put a balloon in your throat so you don't actually get that much food down. Otherwise, you choke. Suffocation. Yeah, that's fun. Drowning. Enjoyable to watch you squirm. Uh, make a nice long lean uh, line of people, a big cue. Everybody ever want to fuck you in the ass. I want to, because I'm that kind of demon. So many different ways to curse you. Now, let's see. We could do the Peter Weller style in Robocop and just slowly blow up every single one of your limbs. Yeah, that's right. I get pretty surgical with that shotgun. Take off a nail, take off an arm. It's precision work, really, to uh, do amputation by shotgun. And then let you wallow around, cry in pain. It can stop, but it won't stop, because I get to curse you some more. And in hell, I get to take my time and do it over and over again. But it'd be like a centibite kind of thing. Making you suffer is an art. And I can't do it in real life. I can't make you fear me in real life. Because I'm not that kind of person as a moral. But I've got to become an officer in hell. I got to see you burn. Now, personally, I don't like the fire and brimstone hell. That should not be part of my vocabulary and my imagery of when I think of internal suffering. I blame the contamination from uh, Christianity and mass American culture. I shouldn't believe in it. Now... Being diced up, the hungry ghost, that's a good one. So, in hell, I would really, really enjoy watching you be in.